So page number in translation page number eight, okay. In this book Sacred Hymns, page number eight, the Sadhana book, page number hundred and sixty-four. First, I will chant. Please repeat. <clears throat> Om Susti Praja Bhyaf Paripala Yandam. Nyayena Marge Namahim Mahisha Go Bram Hane Bheshubhamastu Nityam Loka Samasta Sughino Bhavantu Together Om Sosti Praja Bhyaf Padipale Yantam Nyayena Marge Namahim Mahisha Go Brahman Ebhyashubhamastu Nityam Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu Please repeat Kale Varshatu Parjanya Prithivi Sasya Shalini Desho Yam Kshobhatahita Brahmana Santu Nirbhaya Kale Varshatu together Kale Varshatu Parajanya Prithivi Sasya Shalini Desho Yam Kshobhadahita Brahmana Santu Nirbhaya Om Sarvesham Sostir Bhavatu Sarvesham Shantir Bhavatu Sarvesham Purnam Bhavatu Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu Together Sarvesham Sustir Bhavatu Sarvesham Shantir Bhavatu Sarvesham Purnam Bhavatu Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinah Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Makaschit Dukha Bhag Bhavet Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinah, Sarve Santu Niramaya, Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu, Makaschit Dukha Bhag Bhavet, Om Asatoma Sadgamaya, Tamasoma Jyotirgamaya, Mrityurma Mrtamgamaya, Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnad Purnamudachyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Some beautiful prayers as the conclusion of our day because we finish our studies with this um, Satsanga so these are the Satsanga Shanti Mantra. Hi, every day we chant beautiful prayers from different sources. Some are Vaidik, some are Puranic, some we do not know from where they are originally from. 
So first one is a very famous uh, mantra. At least the last line is very famous. I know other three padas are uh, may not be very famous, but the last line line is very very famous. Loka samasta sukhino bhavantu. That is very very famous uh, line. It's actually part part of this this prayer. What is the prayer? Om susti. Prajabhyaha susti. That is the first prayer. We are praying to the Almighty Om. Om iti Brahma. O Paramatman. Om means in different different places. Om means different different meanings. Okay. Here Om means O Paramatman. O Bhagavan. O Paramatma. Om. Bhagavan. Prajabhyaha susti astu. Astu is understood. Prajabhyaha susti astu. Let there be susti for all beings. Let there be susti for all beings. Praja. Prajayate iti praja. That anyone who is born. Prajananath, the one who is born, the one who has taken a form and embodied, embodied being is Praja. So Praja also in Sanskrit also means citizen. Praja also means child, children, progeny, etc. Praja also means any being which exists in this universe because they are all born. So Praja means all beings of this universe. Whether they are devatas, whether they are asuras, whether they are manavas, they are whether you no know, any beings, whether animals and birds, you no, know, all this entire universe, this embodied beings, where this we we believe that there are fourteen you know levels of existence, chaturdasha lokaha, all those beings which lives in all those fourteen worlds. Let there be swasti. What is swasti? Very difficult to translate this word. Swasti means su asti. Su asti. We have seen in many places when you add the word su, it always indicates mangala, auspiciousness, good. So su asti, swasti. Susti means what? Means let there be well-being. Susti, well-being. Susti, sustiti. You know, the proper balanced state. So what is susti? Susti is a balanced state. Let there be a balanced state for all the beings. See? So this is the prayer of India. This is the prayer of Bharata. This is the prayer of Arshavidya. Which is that, what is the prayer? We are not praying to, you know, have so much of power or so much of this or so much of that. That all we need, we have chamaka. Shanchame, mayaschame, nugamaschame, kamaschame. No, we want this, we want that. Yes, we pray. But why we need all this? So that there is swasti. There is a well-balanced state in the universe. What is the cause of all troubles? The cause of all troubles is that, that when the, the balance is lost, whether it is in individual being, whether it is in his physical level or in his emotional state or in his intellectual level or in his spiritual level, when that balance is lost, that person is lost. An individual being. Like that, a society, a culture, a religion, when that religion or culture or a society loses its balance, whether it is physical, whether it is uh, emotional, whether it is intellectual, whether it is spiritual, whether it is uh, financial, whether it is, uh, you know, any, that there should be a beautiful balance. We always prayed for this balance. Not more not low, but the middle path. We'll study in Gita also. Bhagavan very clearly says this. 
न अत्यष्टतस्तु योगोस्ति न चैकांतमतश्नश्नत न चाति स्वप्नशील से जाग्रदो नैवजाजुन युक्त आहार विहार से युक्त चेष्ट से कर्मसु युक्त स्वप्नवबोध से योगो भवती दुख दुख योग The yoga which can destroy all kinds of calamities of life, all kinds of dukkha from our world, our life, that is yoga. And that yoga happens when? When there is swasti, when there is sustiti, when there is equilibrium, when there is balance. So our prayer is prajabhya swasti. Let there be swasti, let there be equilibrium, let there be balanced state. for all beings of this universe whether they are birds whether they are animals whether they are human beings whether they are devatas let there be a balanced state prajabhya swasti now first now to have this swasti to have this well balanced state in a state in a country in a in a region we need kings or governments why we need a government <laughs> they say in satya yuga governments were not there why because everybody you know was that taking care of themselves and they were taking care of others there was no need of any governess because people were so subtle were so loving and compassionate so there was no need <laughs> but why government came to atharva veda speaks about the governments what should be the when mahara when a raja takes his oath the oath of king is there in atharva veda what is the most important role of the king the most important role of the king is to keep this swasti this balance in the society that's why a government no uh, comes to power the government is not to you know destroy or uh, you know <laughs> but the government is to actually the purpose of government is to have this swasti a well balanced state so that everybody can grow so say so first first we prayed a you know a general prayer what was that prajabhya sustirastu now to have this sustti for praja what we need we need a good governance we need a good government we need a king king always represents the government see says there's a next pray, prayer ah uh, mahishaha mahishaha mahim nyayena margena paripalayandam that is second prayer mahishah the kings the governments see we are not telling there's only one king or there's only one government government can be many there could be many kings but all those kings should be should be focusing on the welfare of the people susti of the people mahishah may all those kings governments nyayena margena through the righteous path nyaya nyaya righteousness nyayena margena with the right through the righteous path mahim earth paripalayandam may the kings protect the earth in the right manner through the following the the laws of nyaya the following the laws of the dharma may the kings protect the protect the earth when such kings are there who are who are uh, you know dedicated their life to protect the kingdom in the nyaya marga then only then only aha a welfare state is possible that's why we say rama rajya when a king a rama you no know, ideal king when he is you no know, is ready to give up his own life for the 
welfare of the kingdom, then, then a welfare state is possible. So, Mahishaha Nyayena Margena Mahim Paripalayanda. May the kings protect the earth with the path of righteousness. May they protect the earth with dharma. May they walk the path of dharma. So that there will be what? There will be susti in the society. Susti prajabhya paripala yantam nyayena margena mahim mahishaha. Now, so there are, as I was telling, you know, the oath of the king. So after the oath, the, he, there are mandras, Vaidika mandras are there. After that mandras are chanted, then they do the Rajya Abhishega. They, you know, do the Abhishega to the king and then when he comes, when, you know, he again, he after the Abhishega, he will be sitting, he will be, uh, uh, he will be stepping onto the, to the throne. That time he takes the hand of his chief minister and then he says, as a, he says, Go Brahmana Hitayacha. I am going to rule over this kingdom. For what? Go Brahmana Hitaya. Now, this is a big topic. We should all prepare. We should be prepared. <laughs> because nowadays, this is a very wrongly misinterpreted, and then people think that, you see, these are all shows that, you know, India was only for Brahmins and cows. <laughs> That is because um, they don't understand what is the, you know. So what is, next next line you see, Gobrahmane Bhishubhamastu. Why? Because the kings are sown in, they take charge of the kingdom for Gobrahmana Hita. For the welfare of Go and Brahmana. Now comes the question, why? Why is such a thing? Only cows. To protect cows and to protect Brahmanas, Kshatriyas become the king. Yes. Huh? Yes. So what is Go? <laughs> so I am sure you might have already heard, Go Shabda has many, 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 many meanings. Go in Sanskrit not only means cow, Go also means Vedaha. Go also means earth, Bhumi. Go also means Indriyaha, Indriyani, our senses. And Go, why cow? Because cow represents the entire domestic animals. See, in Sanskrit, there is a samasa known ekashesha. Ekashesha means there are many, 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 many words, but all other words are dropped and one word is kept, which indicates all other words. For example, Mata Pitaro. Mata Cha Pita Cha Mata Pitaro. Okay. <coughs> but in Sanskrit, you will not see many places. Jagata Pitaro Vande Parvati Paramishwaro. Vagartha Viva Samprukto. Vagartha Pradipakta Ye. Jagata Pitaro Vande Parvati Paramishwaro. I am prostrating to Parvati and Paramishwara. Who are these Parvati and Parameshwara? Jagataha Pitaro. What is the meaning of Pitaro? Pita, Pitaro, Pitaraha. <laughs> Pita means father. Pitaro means two fathers. <laughs> no, that's why. Pitaro means two fathers. But uh, there is actually a samasa. It is not two fathers. Mata cha Pita cha Mata Pitaro. In that Mata word is gone. Only Pitaro is. So Pitaro means Mata Cha Pita Cha. Like that, here also, Go means Go, Aja, Ashwa, Ustra. <laughs> All those dom domestic animals which are there with human beings. Cow, etc. Cow extra means uh, the cows are there, goats are there, camels are there, Ashwas, horses are there. So, so many beings are there with human beings or with the help of so many beings, so many animals, we were able to sustain ourselves. So, the, the, the what do you call, the um, growth 
or the development or the you know overall overall well-being of human race was depended upon many other beings like cow so when you say go go represents all the domestic animals not only go like that brahmana represents all beings brahmana kshatriya vaishya shudra panjamadaya sarve so brahmana pada actually represents all of them like mata pitarau like that brahmana means brahmana kshatriya vaishya shudra adaya now how how many ever beings uh, how many ever castes or this word caste is a wrong word whatever varna sphere there varna and caste are different things anyhow so brahmana kshatriya vaishya shudra adi you know varna whatever varna sphere there in this universe all of them are represented by the word brahmana so when you say go brahmane bya means not only for brahmanas so brahmane bya means brahmana etc you cannot say if you start to count then that it will take a you know five six shlokas just to tell the names of the varna so brahmana means the all entire beings entire human race so brahmane bya means to all the all those people all those you know races all those uh, this all words are now so much polluted afraid to reuse any of them racism oh not race like that so brahmane bya means all those being all those people all those varnas in this universe so go brahmane bya shubham astu nityam nityam shubham astu let there be auspiciousness every day this is our prayer let there be auspiciousness goodness happiness health you know for everyone like go and brahmana go means all the beings of this universe other than human beings brahmana means all all human so may there be shubham may there be auspiciousness may there be happiness may there be health may there be joy for all beings go brahmane bhya shubhamastu this way bahuvachana is used you know plural is used brahmane bhya see if if we are want to tell only go and brahmana divachana should be used in sanskrit like different from all other languages there are there is a <coughs> in all other languages singular and plural singular and plural in if we want to say two then we have to say two two men you no know, two men are going in sanskrit for two there is another vachana divachana if here if they were only praying for guru and brahmana bahuvachana is not needed only should be needed divachana here divachana dual is not used why to it is not telling that go and brahmana that's why bahuvachana is used to show that go ityadi jantubhya brahmana adi varnebhya that's why plural is used please note this okay because when you go back to the society these are the questions they will raise no vedantas uh, many of the may not even very much interested but when they say that oh you have come from vedanta kosh i want to ask you something you know there is this no go brahmane bhya shubhamastu why all others are waste or what huh this was against and this was brahmanical society and that's why so tell them see this one very interesting point is this this dual you know divachana bahuvachana here bahuvachana is used plural is used to indicate it's not we are not talking about cows and brahmins but cows etc and brahmins etc means everyone clear this point is clear go brahmane bya means to all beings nityam shubhamastu let there be auspiciousness every day not once in a while you know now next next question is very famous 
लाइन लोका समस्ता सुखी समस्ता लोका सुखी नो भवंतु मे ऑल लोकस नो ऑल लेवल्स ऑफ एक्सिस्टेंस लोका है ऑल द वर्ल्ड्स व्हाट यू मीन बाय द वर्ल्ड्स द वर्ल्ड्स आर द डिफरेंट लेवल्स ऑफ एक्सिस्टेंस नो सो देर आर पीपल सी इन इन ह्यूमन बीइंग्स आल्सो देर आर डिफरेंट लोकस <laughs> different people are living in different worlds we think that you know all are living in one no that's why see suppose we go for a mela utsava okay big gathering so many things are happening you come back and then you interview each people person you will be really amazed to see that many things which you have seen are not seen by many others and the things which they have seen are not seen by us although everything was there because this is not as loka hai luche our luche means to see to look english comes from this root look <laughs> luche look luche is the dhatu in sanskrit from that only look loka comes loka means that which is perceived the english root is look luche That's why I, eyes are known as lochana, lochana because through this we perceive the world. So what is loka? That which is perceived. Okay. So loka ha samasta. See, this is a beautiful prayer. We have to meditate upon this. We are not praying that all my only my people be happy. No, all people of my caste. should be happy or all my people of my religion should be happy or all the people of my country should be happy no we are not telling we are not praying like that many other you no know, religions pray like that but we never pray like that because we understand that the people are of different 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 lokas and when when they all find peace when all those people a person who is of the lowest uh, you know realm lowest realm means who a person who is very 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 you know sensual <coughs> he also should be able to find peace otherwise <laughs> there will be lot of trouble in the society samasta please meditate upon this line so samasta loka ha the different different people different kinds of people which are there in the society sukhin ha bhavantu let they all be sukhin so we saw what is sukham sukham kham akashah sukham clear sky so when their when their inner sky is clear they are happy sukham see how the words comes so is all these people from the lowest kind of sensual people to a person who is well advanced in his spiritual you know uh, spiritual journey their needs are different their outlooks are different their everything is different but there should be one thing which is common in all of them what is that peace of mind if our mind is peaceful everything is okay whether it is corona whether there is no corona it doesn't matter but if our mind is no agitated a small thing also can create lots of trouble not only in our mind in our physical level also we start to feel there is some problem with me <laughs> there is no problem <laughs> but we start to feel because mind is agitated mind is frightened mind is ah, then all our in their existence starts to you know vibrate it should not happen how is it possible for all of us to be happy it is only possible when all these people this is very important when we go back to our house when we meet people who are you know sensuous don't intervene in their life and tell them no no don't go to the parties why that's all asuric tamasic <laughs> see when they are in the right mood we can tell them good things 
But just because you don't enjoy something, don't try to stop. <laughs> because, see, they are in that loka. The moment you start to dis you destroy that loka, there will be asukham in their mind. That asukha will spread into the entire household. And the household asukha will spread into the society and to the nation and to the world. That doesn't mean that, you know, what we should do, allow everything. But what I'm trying to tell is, <laughs> should be very careful. After this study of our Vedanta and then all this, what we have to do? We have to, you know, the, the attention should to be more to ourselves. Let us become perfect. Don't try to make others perfect. <laughs> that will create a lot of trouble for us. Okay, so loka ha samastha. Please meditate upon this. This is a lot of uh, you know beautiful ideas are uh, hidden in this one line. Loka ha samastha ha loka ha. See all lokas. Sukhina ha bhavantu. So there are many 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 questions. What do you mean by loka? What do you mean by sukhi? You know how how everyone can be happy? Is it possible everybody can be happy? Yes, possible. How? So we meditate upon this is our prayer. Loka samasta sukhinu bhavantu. Such a beautiful prayer. Everything is there in one small beautiful prayer. We'll chant together. Om Susti Prajabhya Paripala Yantam Nyayena Margena Mahim Mahishah Go Brahmane Bhyashubhamastu Nityam Loka samasta sukhinu bhavantu. All words are clear. Prajabhyaha Susti. Mahishaha, Mahi Bhumi, Earth. Mahishaha Kings. Mahim, Earth. Nyayena Margena, with the righteous path. Padipalayanda, may protect. May the king protect the earth in the righteous way. Nityam go brahmane bhyaha shubhamastu. May there be shubham, auspiciousness for cows, etc., brahmanas, etc., for every man, every day. And in this way, samastaha lokaha sukhino bhavantu. May all the lokas be happy. Next. Now, for this, what we need? So, there are two kinds of uh, conditions are needed. One is external condition, Bahya Upadhi, and another is Andhara Upadhi. We have studied already, I am sure you might have studied. Bahya Upadhi and Andharika Upadhi. There are external means and inner means. Like Shamadama Uparati, these are all inner means. But we are having all that. But then in the entire kingdom there are, you know, looting and then killing and then bombing and then war and then everything is happening. It is very, very difficult for uh, people to be happy and, uh, you know, a peaceful life is not possible when there the external means are not in proper. So that's why next question, next prayer. What is the next prayer? Kale Varshadu Parjanya Prithvi Sasya Shalini Desho Yam Kshobharahita Brahmana Santu Nirbhaya So if you want to be happy, Loka Samastha Sukhino Bhavandu. What we need? We need wealth. Hmm. What is the basic of wealth? Annam Dhanasya Mula Dhanasya moolam annam. You may have all other, you know, facilities. Everything is there. But there is no food. <laughs> that society cannot survive. You have nothing else. But you have food. You can survive. So, the moola, the base of a wealthy kingdom, a wealthy nation is food. We are going into a, anyhow, let us, let us not discuss politics here, but we are going into a big trouble now. All our fields are converting into different, different things. No, the food production is 
slowly slowly decreasing in different parts of the world and then we are going to face a <laughs> so our prayer kale varshatu parjanya parjanya kale varshatu may the clouds rain at the proper time parjanya clouds water bearing clouds mekha mekha is cloud but parjanya is water bearing clouds black clouds jimutah this parjanya jimutah these are the vahana of indra jimuta vahana indra so parjanya means the water bearing clouds kale varshatu let it rain at the proper time ati varsha anavarsha anavarsha no rains gone <laughs> without rain without proper without rain at the right time if there is no rain the kingdom will collapse adivrishti oh it's raining raining in kerala the rain started in last april april may june july august september october november this is the eighth month rains going on and on and on this is known as ativrishti because of which no cultivation is possible everything is going down otherwise also no cultivation whatever little bit was there that's also going i'm sure you you are very lucky people you don't have to think also but you know like in kerala now the tomatoes are 110 rupees everything is because there was heavy rains in andhra and uh, tamil nadu etc so all are <laughs> we are becoming a consumer state now everything has to come from you know other states beggars ma <laughs> so kale varshudu parjanya may the rains be at the right proper time it should not be there should not be ativrishti or anavrishti then rains are there but if the if the earth is not you know fertile then what is the use says prithvi sasya shalini prithvi bhumi earth should be sasya shalini very fertile so that you don't have to work too hard no it should be very fertile so sasya you know all the different kinds of uh, you know uh, vegetables and then grains and everything is in plenty sasya shalini prithvi and when such things are there deshoyam kshobha rahitah there are no kshobha there is no you know war or inner calamities or uh, what do you call um, terrorism kshobha people are not happy why people are not happy one of the main reason is their basic needs are not fulfilled when a king when a king or a government is not able to fulfill the basic needs of its people then people will not be happy because they are not happy when they get a chance they go to revolution revolution actually doesn't bring anything any change <laughs> revolution only bring lot of calamities but because people are not happy see you see the french revolution before and after what was the difference there is a um joke okay once the tsar you know the king of the russia met a person from the russia in the this is a joke huh? <laughs> so they he asked the tsar asked him no how is everything in russia now he is uh, you are getting a lo- lot of wheat and food everything is no 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 it was like that. and then drink and all that say it only vodka is now little the the cost of uh, the price of vodka is little less so the sir said if you have told me i would have you know reduced it <laughs> if this is the only thing which actually you know brought by revolution then what? you could have told me <laughs> so this revolution this is kshobha you know deshoyam kshobha rahita let there be no violent revolutions or you know or calamities or 
you know, uh, wars in the society. Deshoyam kshobharehida. Let there be no such calamities, let such trustlessness. People become restless because, because their uh, basic needs are not, uh, you know, they are not happy. Deshoyam kshobharehida. It's our prayer. Oh Bhagavan, please see that our land, our country is with Without such, a, you know, revolutions or with such wars or anger or frustration, kshobharahita, brahmana ha nirbhaya ha santu. May brahmana be nirbhaya ha, without fear. Huh? Again you see, brahmanic, <laughs> again you see here, brahmana ha is also bahuvachana. Bahuvachana, brahmana ha, means brahmana kshatriya vaishya shudradaya ha. All beings, all the Varnas, all the Vargas, all the classes of people should be Nirbhaya. It's a very beautiful word here used. Nirbhaya. Let there be no fear. No, the beauty of our, our motherland is this. Nirbhayatvam. Nirbhayatvam. You know, because you, you read Indian history, you see that at the same time, at the same time, <laughs> there are Charvakas are there, Bauddhas are there, Jainas are there, and then Mimamsagas are there. You know, everyone is there. Vedantins are there. They all coexisted. Vaishnavas are there, Shaktas are there, Sauras are there, everywhere. They all coexisted and then they preached what they, they thought right. If you are interested, you follow. Otherwise, okay, you follow your thing and we have no problem. Nirbhayatvam. <clears throat> this is a no, this is something which is very unique to our nation. At the same time, all these cultures coexisted, which argued each other. And we never killed anyone. Telling that you are, you know, blaps blapsami. You are telling against God. Catch him, kill him, put him into the fire. No. This is your path, you follow. This is your path, you follow. But you can follow your path, but it should not bring any kind of calamity to the society. You can follow your dharma, but the rajya should not be affected by this. No, kingdom, the kingdom, the country, you know, ah, that is always first. Whatever matha, whatever religion, whatever opinions, whatever philosophies you follow, it's okay. But it should not be against the Against the Rashtra Chetana. This was our prayer. Janani Janma Bhumi is Surga Adapi Giriyasi. Janma Bhumi is greater than Surga. And you can follow whatever your opinions. But that should not interfere with the, with the proper functioning of the nation. So that was the thing. Sukhino Bhavandu Brahmana Santu Nirbhaya. Rest we will see next class. We will chant together the entire Satsanga Shanti Mantra huh? together. Om Sasti Prajabhya Padipala Yantam Nyayena Margena Mahim Mahishah Go Brahmane Bhyashupamastu Nityam Loka Samasta Sugino Bhavantu Kale Varshatu Parjanya Prithivi Sasya Shalini Desho Yam Kshobharahidah Brahmana Santu Nirbhaya Om Sarvesham Sustir Bhavatu Sarvesham Shantir Bhavatu Sarvesham Puranam Bhavatu Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Ma Kaschid Dukha Bhag Bhavet Asatoma Sadgamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Mrityorma Amradam Gamaya Om Purnamadaf Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Bhyonamaha Harihi Om We'll chant Trambagam for all of us and especially for those people who are suffering from the diseases. 
ओं त्र्यंबक यजाहे सुगंधि पुष्टिवर्धन उर्वाकमिव बंधना मृत्योर्मुक्षीयृता ओं त्र्यंबक यजाहे सुगंधि पुष्टिवर्धन मृत्योर्मुक्षीयृता ओं त्र्यंबक यजाहे सुगंधि पुष्टिवर्धन उर्वाकमिव बंधना मृत्योर्मुक्षीयृता ओ मृत्युंजयाय रुद्रा नीलकंठा शंभव अमृतेशय शर्वाय महादेवाय ते नम ओ शाति 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नमः हरि ओम